close to a billion dollars is up for grabs in the Mega Millions jackpot. States claim to use that money for public education and other good causes. Norm Champ, a partner with Kirkland and Ellis, as well as a former director at the SEC, sees a different side to this equation. Norm, at a time when so many Americans are struggling to make ends meet, those lottery lines are so long. Well, first of all, thanks for having me, and you're totally right. This is a difficult time with so much unemployment we've had from a COVID pandemic. And the what's important to remember here is the jackpot, jackpot soars, you know, towards a billion. And I think if you take mega millions in the Powerball, it's at a billion and a half or whatever. Um, the way to think about it is that billion dollars has been taken out of the pockets of Americans. Here we are at a very difficult time for employment many families struggling to make ends meet, some folks fortunate enough to be able to work remotely and they're fine, but other people not. And that money is being hoovered out of the pockets of our citizens uh, in to put them into this lottery. If, you know, eventually someone will win, the odds of being the person who win, who wins are similar to the odds of being struck by an asteroid hitting the, hitting the planet. Um, so basically, the odds are astronomical. And yet our government heavily advertises the lottery and encourages play of the lottery at a time when those Amer <clears throat> Americans who've given up that billion dollars to put into the lottery, they could use that billion dollars in their lives. They could save it. They could use it for expenses. Uh, and it's really a tragedy to see the government promoting a regressive tax that hurts the poorest Americans the most. So if a wealthy person throws in a dollar on the lottery, you know, no big deal. But if that's coming from someone from lower income, it is a big deal. And particularly if they play every week as this jackpot builds. So personally, I would like to see the government stop advertising the lottery, stop encouraging this terrible waste of money, uh, and instead encourage people to use that money for savings or for expenses in their lives. All those dollars do add up when you put that money in savings. Thank you so much, Norm. Sure. Great to be here and uh, wish you the best. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.